Hello, good morning. Myself, Alek Sachi Dhanath. Today, I'm here with another lecture on uh, reason to suit in manual mode. In this lecture, up to the end of this lecture, we'll know about uh, how, how manual mode is important than that of uh, auto mode. So we'll get two credit in this uh, course. And up to the end of the session, I will ask some questions on this uh, topic. And this uh, lecture is only for the student of mass communication, those who are interested for journalism and mass communication, and those who are interested, of, interested for photography also, they can go for this lessons. So why manual mode? Why we need to take uh, any photo, any manual mode, or in which, what conditions? What is the reason behind it? So we all know about uh, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO for a manual photography. So some people may be, uh, first time they may be listen to these words, but uh, while we cover this lesson, we will understand about what is the use of this thing. Manual mode is the one of the main setting in your camera and let you manually control shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. These three settings work together to control how bright or dark your photo is uh, known as exposure exposure means uh, how much dark or how much light uh, or how much your photo was exposed to light and as well as change all over the it impact it influence your uh, quality of your photo manual mode is going to give you much more control of your look of your photo in auto mode you don't have any control whatever computer mechanism or whatever uh, in computer intelligence have or whatever uh, artificial intelligence your uh, camera have that will give you the outcome of your photo but you don't have uh, own manual uh, control of your camera but in case of uh, manual mode you have all sort of control the biggest advantages of shooting your manual mode is that let you take a creative control over aperture shutter speed and just brightness in general and all these three you can control manually by manually controlling aperture uh, first of all let's, let's talk, take, talk about uh, aperture by manually controlling aperture we will have more control over depth of field in your image uh, that show how much the image is far focus this can be helpful for taking portrait photo portrait photo means a photo of a individual photography and apertures is determined by a f number if number if number is small then aperture will be large and uh, what will you get you will get shallow depth of field which is uh, massively helpful uh, for uh, portrait photography your uh, background uh, will not uh, visible and your focus will be on the subject in other hand you might want to select the smaller aperture it means bigger f number if you want um, uh, if you want more focus it means focus to all the subject uh, available uh, on your frame let's go to you can see these photos and there are two photo one is uh, this one is uh, uh, shallow depth of field means it has uh, focus on the subject only the background is blur you will get blur background and this photo the bigger one will find everything every character every figure is on focus so let's move to next uh, uh, manual options that is shutter speed it means how uh, much time you expose to your sensor at the shutter speed uh, being able to control it can help you to capture motion in more creative way if you increase the shutter speed it means you can freeze frame of a uh, moving object for example you are, we, we are generally used in a sports photography this type of photography but uh, when we um, when you want to completely free some kind of actions we want to we use to increase the shutter speed by selecting slow but it's opposite by selecting slower shutter speed you can capture shot where the subject is in some motion blur motion it means will not uh, clearly identify the subject but in some situation for, for examples when is water is flowing you can you can express you can uh, represent the flow of your uh, water so you can see these three type of pictures one is uh, highly this 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 one uh, will get uh, when your shutter speed is high 
and this one is low set speed this will get blur photography and this this one this one will be the sad photos another thing iso is control the amount of light by the amount uh, by the sensitivity of a sensor in every camera there is a sensor which is which may be controlled it's uh, by sensitivity it's sensitivity sensitivity can be increased sensitivity can be decreased if you have low light situations you have to increase the sensitivity of sensor of the camera so that it, so that you can ex get a proper exposures then exposed exposure is a combination of all these three things exposure means uh, we can control exposure means how much light we expose to our uh, sensor we can control it by um, manually adjusting the shutter speed aperture and iso there also time you will want to take a creative control over all the bright uh, over the brightness of your image brightness of our image can be controlled by these three things shutter speed aperture and iso and you can see this is a triangle of uh, iso aperture and shutter speed there must be balance between all these three so that so that you can get a better exposure and uh, this is not only these are not only the reason to take picture in manual mode but some other reasons to get a contrast constant exposure constant exposure means uh, there may be different lighting conditions but we want a perfect exposure to our photo so in that situation we have to take uh, we have to manually adjust uh, the setting of it of your of our camera so that you can get better exposure some lighting situation are so difficult that your camera could not manage your camera could not uh, identify what should be the setup of your um, sort of speed uh, your exposures your uh, iso and your uh, aperture so manually is essential for exact uh, photography what exactly you want so this is all about today's class. Thank you. Have a nice day.